Welterweight Sean Porter, who's climbed the ladder on our Showbox series, takes on popular veteran Alfonso Gomez. Alfonso Gomez. Sean Showtime Porter. Contest now to give instructions. Ten rounds of action scheduled. Belt line's good here. Belt line's good here. Touch him up. Alfonso Gomez, I need to make this a dog fight. Take him in the deep water. Take him out for quarter. He said, my 19 fights have all been stepping stones. This fight is supposed to Round one, scheduled for 10. We mentioned that uh, there's Gomez immediately starting to throw the right hand. He's going to want to do that a lot earlier. They felt that the fight was stopped prematurely. Sean Porter, he's coming off a six-round TK he's cut in the first round. Huge right stop, hand by stop, Sean stop, Porter. Stop. Just enough lateral movement, lots of activity, and he wins decisions. Running back in Cleveland, rushed for a thousand yards his junior and senior seasons. Even though there's blood there, Sean Porter has landed the right hand or a clash of heads. Alfonso Gomez trying to off balance. Pound has fought as a super welterweight, middleweight during the a little bit. nice right hand by Gomez. Now Porter answers combination punching. Let him go, let him go. That time with the left hand. We will show you where we believe there was a clash. Yep, that was likely it. And right after this is when the blood, and then there was a second clash of heads. They did, in fact, rule it that way. Later in the round, Porter landing a good left hook and a right hand. At the end of the round, there was a little important. There's look, Gomez's right hand, and there's the left. So he had his moment. He's never been knocked down. He told us he's never he been. He feels that he'll have enough to dig deep. It might come tonight. 30 fights, tons of experience. Fighting Alvarez, he told us, even though he lost and was stopped, gave him experience. At the top of his game. Oh, my. What a right by Gomez, and Porter comes back. Alfonso fighting Miguel Cotto in 2008, knocked out in the fifth. I think being fought at a certain kind of pace that doesn't suit Porter as much as he likes. The idea for rhythm, and you look at the uppercut, Gomez's his head and make him say, oh shucks, what did I do <laughs> by getting in here? Or words to that effect. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'd like better in this round, even though there's a nice combination by Porter. Let's take a and the interesting thing is, it was 34 to 17 after the first round, so you can see Gomez has had a better uh, second round. Gomez telling us Porter moves a lot, but also comes forward. Second round, and Sean Porter not moving as much as we usually see, but landing some nice punches is Sean Porter. Sean Porter trained by his father, Ken. This is a fun fight. So fun. And they're getting busy early in San Jose. Round number two. Now that time, Gomez's head looked a little bit like a weapon. Some excellent punches in a round in which I think he probably won because he was active. And there's the right hands. That's for Porter. Now later on, here's Sean Porter landing good combinations. So both men are doing excellent in uh, slow motion. It kind of looks like he was trying. Wow. Looping. And he comes back and lands a right cross. Four years old. As we start the third, Gomez. There's so much going on here that we had to cover for you, but one of the ones I had for Gomez was to get in. He landed that right hand very well. Short left hook by Porter. Connecting. Triple jab by Gomez may steal the show. He's at bat. And a title shot on his mind. You're absolutely right. That's what he told us in our meeting. He said, I have a fit, especially now that I'm back at 147. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, he hopes so. And Looping right hand block, but he lands the jab. A lot of head movement now. All right, stop, guys. Stop, by Sean Porter. Step back, step back. 
Nice right hand by Porter. Gomez. In this fight thus far. Fourth round scheduled for 10 in the welterweight division, 147 pounds. 55, but Porter threw 236 to 172 for Gomez when he's landed. But this is a, a very, very good fight so far. The second looks like he did lean in. Nice combination punching. Left hook landing on the Porter. Now he's putting it together. Sean Porter. Intentions now. The hand speed is tremendous. He took a right hand off from Gomez that pushed him back considerably more. Though one of those rights by Gomez was a good one, but Porter set that. Another right by Gomez. The main difference, this fight, obviously, is the hand speed of Porter. And Gomez wanted to work on it, but you can't manufacture that. And then he would put his combinations together, a tripling, quadrupling with the jabs, excuse me. 24 <laughs> years old, from Cleveland, Ohio, in black. Stop, right, stop, stop. Okay. Gomez old, like for a running back in the NFL, 30 years old. Yeah, they with know. every boxer. And the lower in the weights you get, the, you know, the bigger problem it is when stop. you get old. Love Vic. Nice right hand by Come Gomez. What a good athlete Porter is. He started swimming when he had that 14-month layoff. His dad that got him, who trains him, got him. Very good point. He's making Sean Porter earn things. Yep. Nice jab by Alfonso Gomez. Still felt them in training, but they were better, and I was able to train and get through them, but we'll be... Sean Porter, uppercut right hand block by Gomez. Porter moving in. Three. Porter, heavy punches now. Gomez in trouble. The Another left hook behind the elbow. Best round of the fight so far. For the young man from Cleveland, Ohio. Slow the thing down. You got this. Alfonso Puncher went to town. Some of those were blocked, but clearly not all of them. And there's a nice short left hook that gets in. Porter now, Alfonso Gomez from getting knocked out or knocked down as Porter continued mm. to blast so away. Taking martial arts, Taekwondo, and eventually moved over to boxing. The power punches in the last round. Bye. Porter's been very effective with his jab as he sticks right there. Gus, I think it's important. Oh, he's just going to something right big, and he just did. The question is, did it have an impact? And that uppercut wow. got through his right hand. Look where he's keeping his left hand at. Fonzo right, Gomez's this fight is as good as this also. Let's not sleep on. He's got a motor, and he's also got a chip on his shoulder, careful, folks. Careful, 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 guys. Careful. Gomez may be getting himself back. A he's not behind. Bit. He is. But he's having himself a decent round, and there's a bunch of good body. That's why you have to pay attention to fights. There's an ebb and a flow. Stop. Watch the back. Watch the back, okay? He's twisting around, okay? Stop. Not Stop. to hit in the back. Correction. Ray Balowitz, a last-minute replacement. Porter kind of slipping and sliding and wow his head comes up and although according to show stats Porter landed more punches in that round but I, I thought that was a good round for 23 5 and 2 taking on Sean Porter 19 and 0 14 KO but I'll tell you what tonight he's been an entertaining fighter part of that Sean Porter's fight sometimes not as entertaining as you'd like he just got nailed with another right hand by Gomez but making this quite a shootout Beautiful right hand. Gomez from after landing that right hand. And they may have clashed heads once again. Now Porter. Oh, what a wicked combination of both. Close to 180. Fought at a higher weight, 154. Took him a while to get his weight down to 147. This is the weight he needs to be at, though. And Gomez out of balance. And very tired. His mouth is open. <laughs> Left hook. Backs up Gomez. Stop. Stop. Sixth in which Gomez got a little bit of momentum going. But it just looks like as... Starting to notice that Gomez running out of gas. 
Nice right. It's been a great fight so far here in San Jose. It ended up being, it appears, a combination. Here he landed a good right hand. He got a head, they banged heads, and an overhand right that gets there by Sean Porter. He's landed that punch a number of times. That also sent Gomez to the canvas, an off-balance slip. Gomez landed a big right hand. Some swelling on the right eye of Alfonso Gomez. We start the eighth, scheduled for 10, in the 147 pounds. And ironically, even though uh, Gomez is the veteran Three, and O oh, at that distance. Porter told us, you know, I thought about playing college football, but our... He wanted a sport in which he could control his own destiny. That fascinating comment, really. Single game touchdown record. Monroe High School. He's earning some new fans, as we see on the tweets. There was a left hook downstairs. He just hasn't slowed Porter down. Another, another right hand by Gomez. Left hook. So, I've not seen Sean Porter stand in the pocket as much as he has. In and still, there's some of the movement that we're used to seeing from him, but we've seen less of it. Up his right hand. Gomez landing a right hand now. Look at oh, Sean Porter assaulting the box. Hey, Sean, watch your head. Mm. Gomez lands two months. Time. The best punches that Gomez has thrown. Look at very nice right hand on the inside. A lot of those fights are fought at higher weights where his punching power wouldn't be dramatic. And Gomez, they are going to declare off balance. Sean Porter with 413. <laughs> 12 years of Catholic school. Exactly. Yes. Got a spike of energy now. Now remember. Focus on and focus right now. This and is Porter forced to fight this 10th round. Another headbutt. Mm. You know, might have been a little bit at fault. Although now it's getting rough in there. Fonzo Gomez, he said from the very beginning, I have to make this a dog fight. by getting in with him. And he has made it a dog fight. Yeah, he really did, and he got Left hook by Gomez. He got some valuable experience yes. tonight. Boy, are you right about that? And he, Alfonso Gomez can offer in terms of power. Alfonso Gomez, a man that lost to 2011. Hey, stop. No, not that. No, not that. Well, we had, that's the only thing we had. Shaw Porter, a cut over both eyes into very deep water. And still undefeated, Sean Showtime Porter.